Welcome to Sapelo Island, Georgia's fourth largest barrier island. Nestled between Savannah and Brunswick at the mouth of the Altamaha River, Sapelo is marveled for its pristine estuary conditions. Estuaries are coastal bodies of water where freshwater from our rivers mix with the salt water of our sounds to create brackish water in a very unique environment. Researchers frequent the island to learn about coastal resources and how to preserve them to the best of our ability. The Sapelo Island National Estuarine Research Reserve, or SINER for short, operates on Sapelo Island. As the only national estuarine research reserve in Georgia out of 30 around the country, we participate in the system-wide monitoring program that we call SWAMP. SWAMP's purpose is to track changes in the estuary so we can use the data to best manage the land for biodiversity and preservation. This very important program tracks water quality and nutrients, meteorological data, and vegetation changes. On Sapelo Island, we have four swamp stations constantly collecting data about water quality and providing live data for people like you to use. Parameters such as temperature, turbidity, salinity, water depth, and more are measured at each station around the reserve. These measurements can tell us more about the health of the island and give us clues as to what's happened and what may come. We also have one meteorological station that gives information about the air temperature, wind speeds, and more. One of the marvels of Sapelo is the island's diverse wildlife populations. Sapelo is home not only to a variety of birds, mammals, and reptiles on land, but also many aquatic species like oysters, shrimp, crabs, and dolphins. Those swamp stations give information about the water quality that can be crucial to understanding the health of the wildlife around the island. Specifically, let's talk about dissolved oxygen and pH levels in our water. Dissolved oxygen means oxygen that has been absorbed in water from aquatic plants and the atmosphere. Oxygen in water, or dissolved oxygen, is very important because it is necessary for aquatic animals to breathe. They need oxygen just like we do. Certain species need more oxygen-rich water than others. But regardless, observing dissolved oxygen levels is a great way to get a glimpse into the health of the water and the creatures living in it. pH levels are another great tool for measuring the health of aquatic life. pH measures the number of hydrogen ions in the water to tell us how acidic or basic a solution, in this case the water, is. Aquatic animals have a range in pH that they can survive in, but when pH levels are too high or too low, animals become stressed. This stress can lead to less reproduction and growth, more disease prevalence, and eventually less biodiversity overall. Unfortunately, we have been seeing an increase in hydrogen ions in our oceans, which means more acidic waters. These extra hydrogen ions are a result of ocean water reacting with and absorbing carbon dioxide, or CO2, from the atmosphere. CO2 levels have been increasing for some time now as human activities emit enormous amounts of this gas into the atmosphere. As oceans absorb this CO2, more hydrogen ions become available in the water, which causes acidification with a lower pH that can stress our coastal species. To highlight a few important species on Sapelo and the importance of monitoring with swamp stations, let's talk about oysters first. Oysters are very important mollusks that have been around for millions of years and do the very important job of filtering and cleaning our estuaries as a keystone species, meaning that they help to hold the entire ecosystem together. Shell-forming marine creatures like oysters need a form of carbon in the water called carbonate in order to form their shells. This carbonate is less available as oceans become more acidic with lower pH. Oysters also need adequate levels of dissolved oxygen to absorb when they breathe through their gills. If dissolved oxygen gets too low, oysters can become stressed and vulnerable to parasites. Crabs and shrimp are other species that play a very important role in the estuary ecosystem as both predators and prey in the food chain. Some crabs also help to add oxygen to the soil with their burrows while also helping to clean up decomposed waste on the sea floor. Some of the most common crabs seen at Sapelo are fiddler crabs and blue crabs. Crabs, as shellfish, experience similar problems to oysters when confronted with low pH and dissolved oxygen levels. There are plenty of white and brown shrimp in the waters around Sapelo who are also at risk when there are drastic changes in pH or dissolved oxygen level. Wild shrimp aren't the only ones we're worried about, though. Altered dissolved oxygen or pH levels can also impact aquaculture farms, 
or farms where oysters, clams, shrimp, crabs, or fish are raised for food. These farms not only help to produce culturally important foods, but also provide many job opportunities for coastal residents. And that makes it even more important that we monitor the quality of our waters. When you ride the ferry over to Sapelo, it's pretty likely you'll see some dolphins either chasing the boat or playing with their pods. Dolphins are a great visual sign of health in an estuary, since an abundance of dolphins means that there must be lots of healthy fish for them to eat. When smaller organisms like fish are affected by pH changes or low dissolved oxygen levels and can no longer survive, the dolphins can't either. We've talked about a lot of aquatic species whose health can be somewhat monitored or predicted by water quality data from our swamp stations. But what about all of the wildlife on land? More than likely, you'll also run into an American alligator during your time on Sapelo. Because the water quality swamp stations measure saltwater and alligators spend most of their time in freshwater, their health can be better predicted by looking to the meteorological swamp station on Sapelo. One of the primary measurements that can be associated with the alligator's well-being is air temperature. Because alligator sex is determined by the temperature that eggs are incubated, it is important to monitor temperatures to help determine sex ratios that could be thrown off by rising temperatures. The same goes for the eggs of terrapins and turtles on the island, including all of the sea turtles that nest on our beaches. Because Sapelo Island is a great example of a location with healthy pH and dissolved oxygen levels, biodiversity and creatures like these are able to thrive and Sapelo can be a great example for other areas to look to for improvement. Unfortunately, you've probably heard of climate change and the pretty severe threat that it poses to our natural resources. With Sapelo Island being one of the beautiful places that has shown evidence of the changes happening around us, it is clear that there will be changes for the wildlife as well. With temperatures and sea levels rising, parameters measured by swamps such as dissolved oxygen and pH levels will change too. Rising temperatures have been observed on Sapelo Island, and while heat is nice for a day on the beach, rising air temperatures pose a pretty big threat to our climate because they can also mean higher water temperatures which can lead to lower dissolved oxygen levels. We usually want dissolved oxygen levels to be at least three milligrams per liter, and anything below one milligram per liter is not suitable for aquatic life to survive. As you can see, Sapelo Island is a great example of a more pristine estuary with high dissolved oxygen levels that can host a variety of marine life. Rising temperatures associated with climate change also can lead to the water's pH being thrown off. In estuaries, which are highly variable, most aquatic organisms prefer a pH that is between about 6.5 to 8.5, with any higher or lower becoming dangerous. Again, Sapelo is a great example for healthy current pH levels that we hope will stay stable to support the animals, but we'll still monitor these levels as temperatures are rising. Changes in the water also cause changes for land animals since unhealthy water easily leads to unhealthy land. When pH levels or the usual health of our water is thrown off, vegetation dies, causing erosion and taking away resources from species on land as well, like deer, squirrels, and birds. Nature is always in a delicate balance, so things that affect our oceans and rivers will impact our estuaries and then our uplands. Sapelo Island's swamp stations are an amazing resource for researchers, scientists, and people like you to learn about the climate of our estuary and check in on how our wildlife is doing. Because let's be honest, we all love to go outside and see some animals.